They're solo or high above the Mississippi River and the famed French Quarter, one of the most historic neighborhoods in all of America. This is an area that usually doesn't have flood concerns, but for this storm this year, the threat is real. The party continues on Bourbon Street as Tropical Storm Barry appears to have his sights set on Louisiana. I got my rain boots on, even though it's not raining, but preparing for, you know, tomorrow. People in the bywater staying patient. Waiting to see what the weather's gonna do for itself. Um, it's hard to predict, so I'm just waiting to see. And tourists in town also keeping a watchful eye out. I've never really been through a hurricane and like seeing the flooding yesterday kind of scared me. The concern comes as the mighty Mississippi River is set to crest at 19 feet. The levee system protects the city and surrounding areas up to 20 feet. The Army Corps of Engineers says no levees are expected to be overtopped. But in Gretna, as the water rises near the top of a levee, people are nervous. I'm here for the, always for the Gretna Fest, and we dance down there. There's a band down there. <laughs> now it's covered with water. Crews blocked off levee access roads all day on Thursday, and the floodgates in New Orleans were shut. Businesses in the French Quarter boarding up and sandbagging, taking all precautions. Definitely concerned, um, but yeah, you don't know what's going to happen until it happens. And we should point out that the wind is definitely picking up here near the Mississippi River that's expected to continue now through Sunday. Reporting live in the French Quarter, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.